Now let's add an image to our website. As you can see on my desktop in my website folders, I have the CSS, IMG, JS, and my index.html. I have a hello world image that I created that I will add to my IMG folder. You can click and drag to add it to the folder. Now navigate back to the Atom text editor. Under the P tag in the body tags, let's add a new tag for image, IMG, and then a space, and then SRC. This will be the source of our image. We need to use quotes and then type the exact path and file name of our image. This path will be different once we upload our web pages to the server, but for now, this will work fine. Make sure to save your document, then navigate to your web browser and reload the page. The image should appear. Let's navigate back to Adam to add some more attributes to our image tag. First, we'll add an alt tag. This is alternative text and is extremely helpful for screen readers so they can tell the user what the image is. Make sure to use a descriptive phrase that accurately describes the image. Next, we will add a title to the image. This is the text that shows up when you hover over an image with your cursor while navigating the web. It should be short yet descriptive. Note that I turned on soft line wrapping so my text wraps around my screen since my font is so large. You do not need to do this and can keep each line on a single line. Navigate to Finder and find the file that is your image. Right click on it to get the height and width. We can then add this to the image attribute by typing in the pixel height and the pixel width. When we save our document and go back to the web browser and reload the page, notice nothing visible has changed. And also our image seems so huge. We will fix this in the next video.